Hello Commanders and welcome to Media Desk Gaming in a new tutorial, in a new video. In today's topic we are going to speak about the rotary wing aircrafts, which are the helicopters. Of course, we do not have a lot of kinds of helicopters. We have three kinds, the helicopter gunships, the attack helicopters and the SW helicopter. For a beginner, you don't really understand what is the differences between, between these three and what unit you should research and mobilize in your game. But uh, continue watching this video because the answer is going to be with me today, Biliodas, as I'm going to give you all I know about these helicopters and what kind of one you should really pursue and use. First of all, we need to mention and speak about the helicopter gunship that this one is designed to uh, have a damage and kill the soft targets. It is designed actually on a low altitude uh, flying to target the infantry. Because you see here from its damage, it is very weak against uh, hard targets, also it's weak against ships, so it is mainly designed to attack the soft targets. Of course, it uh, uses supplies and electronics and you only need an airbase level 1 and arms industry level 1. The bad thing about it, that the hit points is quite low and also another inconvenience about it, that the attack range is extremely low. 400 is not too much for an aircraft because uh, later on when you have enemies that are coming for you and you do not have a nearby airfield or an airbase you are going to suffer a little bit from the attack range so this is the inconvenience about the helicopter gunship let's have a look about the helicopter gunship when it is max level the damage is respectable 12 versus uh, infantry 4 versus uh, tanks but boys something very very important about the helicopter gunship that in max level it has the feature of the reveal stealth and you know reveal stealth ground units we are speaking about the special forces you know the, the special forces when they are deployed on the battlefield they have a lot of tactical roles and you do not have a lot of units and a lot of choices to counter the counter the special forces well you can use the recon vehicles you can use the drones to see them or you can use a level 5 AWACS but a level 5 AWACS is going to require a lot of time as you will need an airbase level uh, 4 to mobilize an AWACS a drone also you are going to need a level um, an airbase level 2 recons they are the, the cheapest things that can see special forces but if you do not act quickly special forces they can annihilate and quickly kill your recon vehicles but what's the unit the, but what is the unit that can see the special forces and also annihilate them destroy them to ashes with a tremendous damage versus infantry well that is the armed black hawk the helicopter gunship and we have to mention in the western doctrine the helicopters all kinds of helicopters they are very strong and lethal so this is about the helicopter gunship of course you have to always always consider the costs of the mobilization because here the helicopter gunship consume electronics and supplies not components let's go now to the attack helicopter actually my favorite it's my favorite okay the AA the attack helicopter 1G Cobra in the Western Doctrine level 1 let's have a look about it look at this boys this one is designed to kill the hard targets the tanks the anti-air the artilleries all of these kinds and also it's not that strong versus uh, ships slightly stronger than the gunships but also against versus other uh, helicopters it has a decent damage but Believe me, you should never ever use helicopters to attack other helicopters. That's not good. Okay, attack helicopters, they have uh, a feature that they have better hit points than gunships. The same attack range, of course, but here the attack helicopters, they often use to target all kinds of anti-air, all kinds of tanks, especially in a public map when uh, a lot of beginners and players start using the, the Mebao tanks because you know the motto of the Mebao tank it's quite um, popular let's say there is a lot of people use the Mebao tanks but not me I never use them they are expensive they are heavy and I don't see any potential in them but the attack helicopters they might be a lethal weapon versus these um, Mebao tanks of course, uh, the helicopters, all kinds of helicopters, they can be 
carrier-based aircraft. You can, of course, land them on uh, aircraft uh, carriers, but um, the attack helicopters, they use components and electronics, not like gunships, they use supplies and electronics, you understand? And another difference that attack helicopters, you will need an airbase level two, not airbase level one, like the helicopter gunship. But let's see the attack helicopter in max level, the model of the Apache longbow. The Apache is uh, something else, boys. 30 hit points. This is the first thing that it has quite impressive amount of hit points. Second thing, look at the damage versus tanks. Look at that, 16. 16, boys. It's 16. It's something outrageous, even versus um, mobile on tier. They do fatal blows. They are extremely powerful, but let me tell you something in uh, public maps i often use the attack helicopters to counter the mobile sum launches you know mobile sum launches they are very strong against fighters and strikers and also elite attack aircrafts but their only weak weakness point is to use artillery on them from distance or the attack helicopters i won a lot of games using the attack helicopters because not everyone in public maps is going to expect it but yeah sometimes you need to do some surprises for them and counter their strength points because everyone has strength points and also has weakness points and you need to use the weakness points to enter into his flaws and kill his army well boys keep this in mind attack helicopters they are very strong against tanks and you should never mess with them okay now the asw helicopter a lot of players they do not use as asw helicopters and a lot of other players they do not even understand why these asw helicopters made in this tier list and what is their utility well asw helicopters they are designed for naval warfare for naval battles as the asw helicopters they reveal stealth submarines so if you want to counter elite submarines, you have an enemy that has elite subs, you can use the ASW helicopters against him. But me, I never ever use them. I prefer to use the naval patrol aircrafts that I can use versus um, submarines, I can use it versus uh, ships. And also it have a bigger, bigger attack range while the ASW helicopter only 400. If you have an aircraft carrier, okay, I can suggest you can use the ASW helicopter. It can give you some um, some potential maneuverability and strategies while you are inside the ocean so far from land. But if you are going to use the ASW helicopter from, from land, well, it's not going to be that useful because the attack range is not very wide and maybe your enemy's submarines, they are going to be away from the lands you understand so it's not actually very impressive but the most important thing that it has a sonar it can see submarines it has um it can reveal stealth and uh, also of course it's an asw helicopter so 100 it is a carrier based aircraft now i'm going to go back to the helicopter gunship and the attack helicopter and now i am going to speak about the damage distribution Something very important, something very advanced that elite players, they use in the elite challenges, in the alliance challenges. And now I want to give you an idea about the helicopter gunships and attack helicopters when they are in the same stack. Okay, boys, I need to show you this with a good demonstration from uh, my Alliance game versus good boys. Here I am Turkey and I am using helicopters and I want to show you the differences between the same kind stack and um, the mixed stack between attack helicopters and gunships. Here you can see we have a heated battle in the uh, Syrian border from our Alliance and the other one. They are pushing forward with main battle tanks, mechanized infantry, motorized infantry and even mobile sum launchers and mobile on tier and now I am going to use my attack wing and my helicopters on them to try to annihilate their, uh, uh, their tank divisions one by one. Okay boys, you see here that I'm having a full stack of helicopter gunship clean stack of only gunships, another stack of one rotary wing officer and uh, four attack helicopters. Here I am trying to focus on this tank division. I want to focus all of the fire of my helicopters on one single target. I do not want to fly over all of those tanks and all of those on tiers because the defensive damage of them is going to be extremely heavy on me. 
This is why I want to annihilate their tanks one by one. So focus how I am going to move my helicopters all around using the edge of the blue patrol circle. I do not want to fly over it to avoid their mobile anti-air. And as well, I will only receive the defensive damage of that stack. The, their mobile anti-air is not going to fly on me, understand boys? It's very important to avoid, the, to avoid their anti-air. And here, I want you to focus that I am going to use a clean stack of helicopter gunship, a clean stack of attack helicopters, and two mixed stacks. And I want you to focus on the damage. Here, my rotary wing officer strike first. Look at the damage here. You see, my four attack helicopters received a lot of damage, while my one... Rotary Wing Officer almost was untouchable. Why? Well, first, the Rotary Wing Officer was um, lighter than attack helicopters, so he will receive less damage. Look at the stack of gunships. Received a lot of damage, around damage of 15 points. Because that stack has a lot of um, mechanized infantry, uh, motorized infantry, so the defensive point of that stack is going to be heavy. And when you attack it only with gunships, you are going to receive a respectable damage if it was a mixed stack the damage is going to be reduced and not like that here you are going to see my two mixed stacks of three attack helicopters and two gunships three attack helicopters and two gunships and let's judge all together what's better the mixed stack or a single nature stack okay a few seconds till the strike let's uh, keep watching here um, you see there, everything is level 4, my uh, helicopters all level 4. Uh, you know for a fact that uh, attack helis have more hit points than helicopter gunships and now we are targeting the stack that has mechanized infantry, motorized and also member tanks and recon and all of these units they have defensive point versus helicopters. And I believe now this blow is going to be fatal, look at that. He, that huge stack reduced to a one almost dead. Maybe I'll tank and few infantry, but look at the damage, boys. Look at the damage distribution I want to show you. It does not appear like your stack has been heavily damaged. It's slightly. You understand now, boys, what I am trying to tell you here, what I am trying to show you? Well, thank you guys for watching. Today's video, I hope that it has been extremely helpful for you. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section and I will reply to your question as soon as possible. Thank you boys and boy boy!